today we are joined by a man who established himself from a very young age. I would assume, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm fine. Finally, I'm glad to meet you to sure. come and have a chat with us. Mm -hmm. I know you have been around quite some time, but for someone who doesn't know who uh, Dumumjal is, how can you tell us uh, how you grew up in the, in the environment that you grew up? I know your dad was a teacher. Yeah, he was a teacher. Uh, so I'm from, uh, I'm from Durban. Yeah. Uh, moved around a lot of parts of Durban from uh, Clermont to Clermontville to uh, bit of Mlazi to Montclair, Hillcrest, so all around Durban. Yeah. Uh, come from a very, very... Uh, humble, humble beginnings, but not in a sense that's negative, very positive. Uh, my mother was a nurse. My father was a teacher, then later on became uh, a principal. Principal, yeah. Yeah, very supportive structure. Uh, they've supported me and uh, venturing in this in the storytelling uh, process since I was a child. So they've been very supportive in that. The, 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 the most part that I'm interested in is at the age of 11 years old mm. when you were watching when you were watching Lean On Me yeah yeah just tell me about that oh experience. you heard about that one <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it was a very impactful film um, at, that, at, at that age I'd already been like uh, very interested in, 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 in storytelling uh, I come from a, f a family where everybody, by the way, I was a cop. Um, and I understood the, the I, I always want to understand the power of storytelling and what does it do. And whenever there was a film, I mean, you can just picture every Sunday um, on Mnet, there's always a Sunday film, you know, like we all watch it as a family. It was almost, it became like a ritual. Um, but I would sit by the corner and watch my family watching it mm. and and watch how they react in certain things. You know how we are as Abadaba Miyama whenever you, you sit at home, watch how they react when they watch something. Mm. We, I, I love that about us. So that my dad is very vocal when he watches shows. He's always like, mm. oh, so I'm hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I always found that 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 that's who we are as black people. We don't just sit there, like you know, and, and just watch something that that's really talking about us, uh, and then we just let it alone and it just go. So, what I loved about Ilin on me, it, it was a story about a principal uh, teaching, coming into a school that was had drugs, that had prostitution. It was gang violence uh, in the urban area and he wanted to change that and make a clean school a school where it's, it's for the students a school where academics comes first um, and my and I saw how that film uh, inspired my father I was like yo and then straight I'm not that he didn't have the idea of wanting to be a principal but it was just like an injection you know, that really propelled him to, to and he did. He went to a school in, in Lamonville, township school. Uh, it's called AJ Molase. And uh, he transformed that school the best that he could. Mm -hmm. And also there was violence, there was drugs, there was gangs. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of gangs. You know, some of these kids go from prison to come back and go to school, you know, so there's a lot of that. And he tried his best to change that school. I mean, it it takes a lot when when you trust something in a process. There's a lot of sacrifices that it went through, which almost creates a, a sort of a, di a a divide and a distance between father and son. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes when you believe in something so much, um, you tend to, as a person, um. Not that you're neglecting family, but you are sort of so focused and wanting to make a change because you understand the change is bigger than you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but later on, as years go by, uh, 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 I, as a, as a son, had to learn to understand that 
the importance of sacrifice uh, and and what is it for really you know I always say you know you gotta trust the process and to trust the process you, you really gotta live it wholeheartedly and uh, there will be a lot of a lot of things you miss a lot of pain you miss um, but it's just part of it it's part yeah. of life yeah. Growing up in an environment where your dad was working, was working at this gang violence in it, mm. somehow did it shape you to be a better man or to be ambitious? No, I'm not. I won't say it shaped me to be a better man because I was a kid, so it really, it really got me to view things differently. Like, like I was saying, you know, because what it did, it, 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 it allowed me to to really try and understand the, this acting thing and this power of storytelling. It wasn't per se acting alone. It was the idea, the ensemble idea of, of storytelling. Uh, and then, of course, I started doing more plays as a kid. and uh, started going to the Playhouse. The Playhouse is a, it's a big um, a theater in Durban, one of the big main theaters in Durban. I started going there a lot. I uh, never did any workshops per se. But I, I went there a lot, watched a lot of plays, uh, watched more movies and more movies. Uh, and you did the dramatic arts. I did drama. I did drama and duty later on in life. But I understood now that I think I, I was about grade. It's grade now, hey. <laughs> 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 uh, back then, standard, standard, standard seven. Just grade by the way, grade eight. No. This is grade eight, no? Uh, we, we... Grade nine. <laughs> grade nine, yeah. So by then, I, 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 I made a decision that I want to do this acting thing uh, and really want to tell stories. But what really drove me more was not just that. It was the idea that I want to tell stories, South African stories on a high level. Yeah. You know, at that time, you know, the, the country was changing as well. So we started getting more uh, stories of our South African heroes, but now be portrayed by Americans. Americans and British people. So that really hindered me a lot. Is coming, I was like, I didn't understand why, with so many great actors, you know, kind of, say about a Twilight, there's Benzi Gubani, there's there's all these beautiful South African black actors, but they're not being given an opportunity to portray people. I believe they could hit mm-hmm. easily. You know, but I just, I, I, as you go on, you understand it's, it's, it's a business, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, but it doesn't mean you're making a good bu- business decision yeah. as well. You know, there's also those, you know, pros and cons, you know. Uh, I mean, I remember there was a film called Long Free, Long Walk to Freedom, but I don't really remember much of it. Uh, we only remember the negative of it that, you know, oh, I didn't have more side of, why, why was Mandela played by side? So you always remember those kind of things about it. Uh, it would be nice if you had more South Africans actually playing big prominent roles. And that, that, that really drove me a lot that I want to tell South African stories at that high level and us playing ourselves because it's always great to see ourselves uh, as, as South Africans and have us owning it, black people owning uh, their stories. And distributing them, distribution is is the most is the key. Uh, I wanna I wanna jump from number number one and come to Ispai. Yeah. How did that happen for you to be part of Ispai? Ispai. <laughs> so funny enough, I was I, I just finished bringing up. I just finished shooting in number number one, mm-hmm. and at the same time I was shooting another sh- television show. It was called Tempe Pushers. Mm-hmm. So. That been doing the auditions and everything like that, uh, on and on, and I was like, "Why am I not being called? <laughs> Why did I call? Was my agent? I asked Munin when she was still alive. May she rest in peace. Like, what's going on? Why did I call? Like, well, they're not calling you, <laughs> you know. Uh, they'd already cast it. I think about they had already had like two, if not three, different. Uh, my character was smooth there, so there were about three different smooths already. Yeah. All of them failing, I guess. <laughs> uh, and um, finally, uh, I get the call. But this time I get the call from a guy I'd worked with 
long ago on intersections, the director, oh, holy Nikki, uh, very great director. So he calls me, he's like, dude, when's that? He's like, dude, I'm, I'm shooting this tape, he pushes, but I'm about to finish, it's almost done. Uh, and then he said, okay, cool, there's guys want to call you. Uh, just wait on them, just be, just, he's going to call you just now. And this guy calls me, uh, speaks very slowly. I'm, I'm, I'm hardly hearing what he's saying. And he says, oh, can we meet? I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then we meet like the same day. <laughs> we meet. I was still staying in Jan Smart. So I was like br very broke. So I was like, where can I meet this guy? I'm not going to. Jan Smart and Jovek. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to. I'm not going to get an Uber <laughs> to get to his office. I can. I, I must find somewhere nearby. But I must sound like I'm very far away. So I can show that I'm, you know, I'm professional at this. Mm. You know, just like today, you know, you had to show me you're professional. We drove all around Vitz. <laughs> but you are trying to show me that, you know, like this kid is really trying to show me he's professional, you know. But that's what it is. It's, it's part of the, it's part of the, it's part of the gimmick, you know, it's part of the gag. So, and then I meet him and I'm like, okay, I'm going to, we'll meet at Steers. We meet at Steers, which actually Steers was just uh, was kind of like downstairs. <laughs> but it does not stay. <laughs> Uh, we meet there and it's, it's Angus. Those who know Angus skips it. Uh, so it's Angus. White hair and everything. We meet there. We talk. Uh, and Angus is one of those people who, who does, who doesn't say much, but says a lot. Uh, I learned that immediately as I was, I was sitting with him because what happens when somebody who, who's sort of holding the cards, um, you end up talking a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And I realized, okay, I'm dealing with something here. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm now, able to, I'm saying so much, I'm saying other things. I'm like, no, 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 okay. Come back to this. Come back to this. And then he explains to me the show. Okay. We should show inspired. He's like, I know. I told him, I know. I uh, know you should inspire. I don't know why you haven't called me. You know. Uh, and they know it's fine. Uh, they've already started shooting, but so we're gonna just, we're gonna go back and, and basically fit you in along the way and go back and shoot in case of then some of the scenes that have already been established there. Uh, and it was great. And then the and first day, I thought it was th the way they made it look, and like the very next day, uh, before that, sorry, before that, Munin calls me and says, Hey, uh, you got a role. I was like, I know, Muni, don't worry. I've already been told. I just saw him now. I was like, fine, okay. Sign a contract tomorrow and everything. Everything's good. And then the first person I meet on set uh, was Unom Zamombat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I was like, oh, shit. <coughs> She's fucking beautiful. Like, what is going on here? And then, and now she's nervous in a sense. She's like, oh, shit. It's this guy. <laughs> this guy's gonna be working with me. Okay, cool. But what's great is just like we just hit it off immediately when we were still on 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 makeup. Because what's great is that I already knew the crew that was there, like the crew, the lighting guys. Everybody, I already knew. I'd already known them from yes. working on another yeah, project. Yeah. So they just made the, the 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 transition coming into this role very smooth. Uh, and then from then on, the rest is history. Yeah. Talking about Nomzam, but mm. looking at where she is today, mm. then coming to America, the latest. Yes, she's with Bruce Wills in in in. in Still need to see that one. I haven't seen that one yet. I need to see that one. Yeah. Looking at what she did mm. and you having to work with her. Yeah, not just working with her, mm. but your character being yes. the husband. Of yes. Her. When you look at where she is today, how do you feel with her success? Oh, very proud, man. Um, because as somebody you understand, <laughs> I was married to her <laughs> for yeah. eight years. You know, so <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it, it it becomes it it becomes reality and and fiction almost becomes blurry at times. Yeah. But you have to find uh, the connection and the real. But what 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 it is is that we, we created such a strong bond of just trust and friendship. And when you 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 see people doing so well, 
having them come sort of like with you as mm. well. Mm. It's beautiful that. And now she's executive producer of Elan, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 with yeah. Bomb Products, the, the company that, that really brought her along, that's mm. been nurturing her. She has been throughout. doing cinematography also. Yeah. Cinematography? Uh, not that I know of. Mm. Uh, no, she's more in the production side. She's she's the executive producer, and uh, of course the lead actress yeah. of it. Camera side, no, no, I don't. I, I'm not not that I know of. I I, I, I wouldn't know if she found the time to do that. No, I'm Cause asking because <laughs> I saw I saw a picture of her. That's that's a picture. That's just oh, a picture. That's oh, just a picture. Oh. I think she's just she's showing you all that she's really she's really trusting her process where she is in life. Because now she's also she's showing you she's in front and behind, uh, yeah. Just uh, metaphorically, that's what she was saying. And and just she, what's great about her more than anything, uh, she's really empowering the young women, you know, that are here. She really empowers them, and uh, in, in believing that you gotta work hard. It's not just the looks. Looks can only run a certain mile. I mean, they're very important for certain things. But you need to back that up, yeah. and she does back it up. You know, she's a she works hard. I mean, I remember was those times when she was still doing, um, getting into EUN, uh, and then she also has to shoot, uh, should fly jet lag and come on set, <laughs> and still has to shoot those incredible scenes. And I'm I'm a quite I'm quite a demanding sort of actor as well. Mm. I demand a lot from you, but she knew she understood the game. That's you know? scaring me. <laughs> no, I'm very That's demanding. I'm very demanding. I, I, I need. I, she knows that. Even when we enter the scene, I'm like, I, we need to find God in this scene here. Mm. So you need to be as truthful as you can possibly. Yeah, so, your and best. you know what I mean. Mm. You know, not just your best. You need to go beyond that. Mm. That's why you guys resonated with with Subuno Tandega so much. Mm. Because we were constantly, every time when we were on set, we were constantly looking for God in those moments. That's why those scenes become, they look very easy and they look very real because God is real, right? Mm -hmm. So we're finding that constantly throughout together. She's, she's amazing. You didn't do so many scenes with the late Mens and Govan. No! At the end of it. So. Last scene, the end, that's the funny yeah, thing, you know, yeah. the last scene. It. How was your experience working with him? Oh, it was great. He was he was so because when I was working with him, he was really he was already ill, mm. um, but he never showed it. You saw him. You nah, never nah. showed it. Hey, you know, like he's, he's a brilliant. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's 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 <laughs> a professional. Was like he was, he was already yeah. ill already yeah. then, mm. and the last scenes together is is of his character or Ungwen, his demise. Yeah. You know. And him dying as well, so it was almost like a ish to do those scenes. To see that I never even actually had to, to see those scenes is kind of like, oof. and then he passed away, you know, not so long after that. Mm. Uh, but to have been around him, he was he was a G, you know. <laughs> we laugh, we laugh on set. He's so professional. Um, even when there's the politics of, of, of being on set, production and everything, but he he constantly kept his, his level head. And uh, I learned a lot from that man in, 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 in arriving, to, to always arrive in anything that you do, arrive, you know, it means a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, yeah. We are here today. Yeah. In number number. Just gold. Yeah, man. On Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Doing the most. Yesterday it was number two. It's on top ten. Top yeah, it's on top ten, number two. Number hey, two. hey, doesn't that other one that doesn't want to budge. <laughs> but but oh, man, it's doing yeah. incredible work. But before we talk about mm. just gold, let's talk about number number one. Yeah. What did it that happen for you to be part of the, the not just part of the crew, but the main character? Um, well, the number, number one was, it came from the competition I did, which was, uh, I'm still class act. Yeah. So it was the prize as well to do a film. So that was the, that's oh. the prize to do that film. 
Uh, but doing it in number number, it was um, it was such a tremendous honor because when I was still studying he at DUT, when I was still studying speech and drama, I made a promise to myself. I was like, when I'm 30, I'm going to do a film and it will be an action film. I said that. I manifested it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm powerful at manifesting. Powerful attraction. Yeah. Uh, trust me. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm a G on that thing. Uh, and uh, and it did happen. So what happened is that when I came into class act, I was 27. And then in number number, we shot it three years later. How old was I then? You, you look like, young. And I know. Don't say. Eh? You look 23. <laughs> right now? No, I don't know about no, right no, now. No, in class uh, no, Yeah, no. In class act, I was, yeah, I was much older. I was, yeah, I was much older. And then I manifested that, and then it happened. Uh, and coming to that production, it was it was it was a it was another test. It was another growing experience. Uh, uh, someone was asking me that comparing with the number number that one and the number number now. I feel like that the number number there I was I was really driven on wanting to prove myself uh, and an ego. Yeah. you know it was, it was really much an ego like I want to prove myself because now you're surrounded by all these great actors mm -hmm. you know and and where, where ego yeah so, you know what I mean and yeah. then the ego comes from the ego comes from a, a, a sort of a self-doubt it's because it's a, it's a cover up so wow. that came in and uh, but it, it worked its purpose for that you know there's nothing I always say there's no right or wrong decisions in life but there's definitely strong and weak choices and that's what makes a great actor is the, the choices are strong mm -hmm. if the choices are strong you know you found your truth you're on a path of truth so coming to that was just like um i was taken under the wing of Ulokos. It, it was so beautiful oprah owen oprah owen was the main guy he played Bamban. You know, he was the father figure. If you remember number he was yeah. the big guy, Baba Luan, who was running everything. He really took me under his wing and was always constantly uh, telling me, good, don't worry, you're good. Sometimes you need that. Mm -hmm. You need to be told. Uh, so you know your work is, is, is not it's good. So you know you're heading in the right path. Uh, he took really took me under the wing. And also Oprah uh, Easy, Israel, really yeah he really took me on his wing i mean we worked that thing even what was great about it was, was also the pre-prod uh the pre-production is always important for any product if you don't have pre-prod you have failed because <laughs> you don't know what you're doing right yeah, yeah you know so we did a lot of that the script we worked the script together and of course so presley is uh, a guy i've always um i've admired for a very long time don't tell him that Cut that part out. <laughs> yeah. uh, someone I really admired for a long time. Even when I saw him, when I was still, st I was still studying when I saw him, and he was also still studying. When I saw him when he talked, I was like, "Shit, I want to work with this guy." Some people thought I was because somehow some people said we look alike, mm -hmm. and that really pissed me off. It's like, nah, I don't want to look like this guy. I want to act with this guy, and I manifested that, mm -hmm. and then it happened number now and it was it was such a I mean the friendship that we have now the brotherhood that we have together is just it's beautiful we don't act whenever we're in a scene together there's no acting but I know when he's lying though yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, like no, I, I, I can't cut <laughs> I, 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 he's lying <laughs> he's not being real now. yeah he's not being real he's lying but so far I don't need to do that mm. it just comes easy it's just we, that's all we just people they they fucks with number number a lot, yeah. you know, because of those that relation those 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 two brothers, they brothers in a sense, you know. Yeah. You know. Now Joe's Joe's gold when I was watching that movie. Yeah, I cried. Like, no, I literally cry. I tried to hold my tears, but <laughs> what what made me cry is mm. the social issues that that movie kind of questions yeah. and interrogates. Mm. Uh, it's up to. According to me, the way I understand art, you can try to portray something, 
but it's up to me to draw meaning out of what you're portraying. Mm, mm, I can mm. draw meaning a different way to the next person. For me, those things are things that I live around them. Yes. Those are the things that when I, I look at myself as like, it's because of these things that I, I am where I am and who I am today. Mm. It's because of these things that we end up having young people going to prison at the very young age. Yeah. You know, the, the committing suicide. Hey, you know? it's, it's, it's very tough. Yeah. So just before I touch on specific scenes that I, I love to talk about them, mm. how was the experience working with Inamba Number Joe's Gold and having to shoot in, in, in places like Hebrew? Yeah. Way, way back then, there were big places. Whenever I speak to <laughs> other people, yeah, they used to be the, the spots. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like Yeovil. Yeah. yeah. Nelson Mandela used to be, Nelson Mandela Bridge used to be the most attraction to, to tourists and all this stuff. Yeah. And you guys having to shoot around these yeah. places. How I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you, you, you brought how, how Joe's, Johannesburg, Joe's, how beautiful it used to be. Mm. Uh, and in number number now really like flipped it and said, look at it now, you know, uh, this, that's what, that's what in number number, this one really is for me. It really mirrors society. That's what art is, right? Yeah. Art mirrors society. And that's where we are. That's why those, that's why you see those guys with the trolleys. They were riding trolleys everywhere. Mm. They're everywhere. I remember after I was shooting that, I was seeing those people everywhere, everywhere, I'm, uh, everywhere I'm going. It just shows you the, the 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 inequalities that we have in this current country, and it's 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 sad. It's terrible. Yeah. It's really terrible. Um, sometimes we we didn't even <laughs> we didn't even, we didn't need to cast any because they were there. Mm. We'd shoot them. They were really there, and it, to me, I always I was always on that thinking point, like, yo, this country's in trouble. And and that's what the number number is. It reflects society. That's why there's that there's one of my favorite shots. I think it's in one of the promos where the the the, the drone shot it comes in from the slums of Alex, hey. and then you just see this nightclub, mm -hmm. and then you seeing the reflection of of the other side is uh, is the rich, and Santon. You know, that's just that inequality. But it's like this nightclub is almost like um something to hold on to, the hope, you know, and then the throwing of the money, when the throwing of the money, it's just metaphoric of just a, a wasted, uh, a wasted people. Yeah. Um, but those are just metaphors. You, you, you're allowed to interpret the way you want to. Yeah. You, you, it, it, that's all I say, number, number, it never belonged to me. It belongs to the people. Yeah. You know, if you're not South African, I'm sorry, it's, it's going to be hard for you to get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's certain things about it that, that, that are just for us, you know. Uh, and then coming to it, uh, working to it, it was a, it was tough because I had to really get physically ready for it, like months and months ready for it. But that was my own process, and uh, and then spiritually get in touch and understand what do I want to say this time? Because coming from the first one, now this is ten years now. Yeah. More matured, more experienced. More matured, more experienced. And and what do I want to say with this one? Because now Ch Chili, the character, he's going on such a a downfall from the beginning. He's like he's he's at he's at that tipping point where, you know, he's done so much, but there's no impact in his it life. Doesn't feel like he's you know what I mean. It's not I mean. So just the, as we just finished, when we're just, we're just we started. In number number, uh, I remember speaking to Donovan and uh, pre prod, you know, talking about the issues I want to bring in. You know, we just lo lost to Ricky Rick, uh, somebody I kind of knew and I've worked with on Spire before he came in on Spire one time. So, so someone I knew, I knew I needed to. That's why you see, that's why people are sort of feeling so much for Chile this time because he's absorbing the, 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 this generation. That, that a lot of young men are at that tipping point, you know. A lot of a lot of people are known. I just just before, uh, just July after, June, you know what I mean. After the the July whole lady, the whole COVID thing, tapun. Mm. That's why we were grabbing. You know what I mean. That you know, symbolized that kind of movement. When when you are taking like that, it reminds me of two pack Swedes. I was yeah. like, if I'm at the door, I'm asking, please, can you let me in? I'm hungry. 
Mm-hmm. And I keep on knocking it don't open. Yeah. Next time I'm singing, I'm hungry, please let me in. Next time I'm screaming, please I'm hungry, let me in. Next time I was like, I'm kicking out the door. Exactly. Because I know there's food and if I, I get inside there, I will, I will satisfy my hunger. Yeah, well. And and when I saw that film, I was like, no, black people are asking for a very long time. Mm. Like we need opportunities. I mean, you, got, you, need, you, need to, you need to take it. Yeah, take what like, belongs no. to you. We we're taking but we're not saying that but we're saying that but that's not what that's not what we're saying that we're not saying that but we're saying that and yeah. and there's, there's 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 an incredible scene that you did I was like and you're an incredible actor thank you you're an incredible actor you know having to react to something that is not on set is not easy <laughs> There's this this CGI yeah. kind of thing of of the hyena, yeah, and you having to be scared and all this stuff. What helped you to working with that? Sometimes it's because uh, it was between a, a, a sort of like a doll that made of uh, green green looking dog. <laughs> Somebody has to push around and, <laughs> and you have to act along that. Or sometimes sometimes it's just a tennis ball. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we react, reacting with a tennis ball, but I didn't have as many scenes like that as the others. The guy who really had to work with that was uh, Ubongi, the guy who plays Hyena Man. He really had to work with. He has a beautiful method of how he he got in with that character because because I would watch as like pre part of talking with the director Donovan Marsh, the creator. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, a, what an incredible man! The creator of number number, he created class act, mm-hmm. and then created the number number one. Now he created this mm-hmm. one as well. So how they process was it, it's how he um, allowed U, Ubong to really trust himself. So he connected with the hyena in in such a personal f- way because now um closer. So he connected it in a sense, in a spiritual sense, in a cultural sense. You know, when you go in Dabin, mm-hmm. yeah, he connected with it in that way. He had his own process with that, with that hyena. So whenever, how he speaks about it and, 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 and how he fights for it. Like, there's that beautiful scene where we, the last scene, I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, 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 that last scene where, we having that fight um because something happens to the hyena it was his connection with it you know even when he's like there's an uh, you know when there's another scene where he speaks of the because every time he speaks of the hyena he's really speaking of himself yeah. constantly this is my he's, yeah he's he's speaking of himself in the mountain what happens there for what happened there for him there yeah. you know and that's why he, he he fights so hard for that for the for that for that tennis. I always call it the tennis ball. That's what <laughs> I remember doing it with. But no, it was great. Um, it I, I think it's also showing that as South Africans, you know, we're getting there. You know, but South Africans can't be always so hard on you. Can't be hard on yourselves. And they said, "Oh no, the hyena. Oh, this part it didn't really look like a hyena. Of course, it does. It's not a hyena." You know, for me, it's like it's like for, you. Sorry to cut you. It's like you would allow <laughs> uh, dragons <coughs> to believe in dragons flying around, mm. but you're not gonna believe in something like this. Like, come on, grow up. <laughs> for for me, for uh. me, from the beginning, when your character has been kind of threatened by the hyena in 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 the in the in the, in the club or whatever the place is, mm. I never thought in CGI. The only mm. moment I, I saw that, no, man, this is not a real thing. To me, I was like, it's a real animal. Yeah. They I'm glad with, you, I'm with, glad you with did. With the chains, like, yeah. was, like, they tied it up and this is a real animal. Yeah. Maybe there's so many security measures around it to make sure. And it's not easy to shoot that. Yeah. People think it's easy because you have to do it in so many different, because Donovan is, is, a, is a very man, detailed kind of director. Um, to the best, to the, to what the given stance are then the given circumstance. So he works according to that. But he's a, he's a sort of director that has a, with each take, with each se- setup, should I say? They said this is the first setup. The camera is here. Mm. You know, that's a why. They said it's there. Why he'll at least do about nine takes. 
Mm. And then, but he has to fulfill within that uh, his board, his his board. He has to fulfill storyboard. Storyboard. He has to fulfill at least. If not six, eight different setups mm. with nine takes. Takes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot hours, of work. How many hours did you guys take a day to shoot? Ah, man, it took, it took forever, man. It took the whole day. I mean, it depends on the scene. Like, there's that fight scene that uh, well, it's one of my favorite fight scenes because I was, I was like, I never want to do a fight scene when all of a sudden the character now does things so meticulous meticulous way you know what i mean like now all of a sudden he's he's got karate moves now mm, mm, mm. uh that's why you see those the, the fights in with me and hyena in the in the warehouse there it, it's a brawl it's like uh yeah i'm actually that distracting you know what i mean yeah. they really want to take them each other out you know i mean we rehearsed that over and over and over and that's about for we, we shot that from six uh six in the afternoon until six in the morning. Yeah. So yeah, that's the whole night. We shot that whole night shooting those fights since again. You know what I mean? Um and that's a, and, and one person was saying, one of the editors, actually with a number number, the, the there's so many there's so many shots. We can actually literally do another number number. Really? There's still stuff on the yeah, we can literally take that and redo it. Yeah, do yeah, another the number, number. There's so many, there's yeah. like so many shots. It's in, it's insane how many shots that, that there are in, in that film because that but that's that's a profession that's how it is really mm. professionally that's how it is yeah you know it, it's better to have so many Absolutely. shots in the in the bin than yeah to then having to reshoot yeah, exactly and then you have to look uh, no we do have that we do have that shot don't worry we so that's a, it's, but it's a lot of work yeah. it's a lot of work but. Hey, the, the 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 guy which your character is fighting with in the warehouse, such an incredible actor. That's Wongi, yes. That's the, the hyena oh, man. Oh, oh. Yeah, that that's that that's a beautiful. That's what I'm saying. That that's why the oh. first scene. Um, you know the opening scene. I think a lot of people have seen it on in in, in, in in uh on social media where he comes in with the green suit. Yeah. And there's the hyena over there, and then start having that little. Mm. Hong Hong on the kind of dialogue that they have. It's too high. It's like a hyena and a lion meeting for the first time. But that style. So if you love film, that that's it's a style that of shooting that. That's a. It's called a, a cowboy a spaghetti sort of style of shooting. Mm -hmm. So if you watch, if you watch like oh good, bad, bad and ugly, sort of like intense scenes and coming close, mm -hmm. tense, close up, move. You know, it, it, that's the style. Mm -hmm of shooting so if you if you're a lover of there's a lot of different styles that we play we borrow from and we we put in this because we we really that's what film is about as well it's kind of like what tarantino does he always gives a shout out to filmmakers yeah, tarantino. you know what i mean it's, it's always you have to give a shout out yeah. because you, you hear because of the other people in the past yeah. you know so this this as well if you love film it's a shout out to film this also is a shout out to film you know? There's an incredible scene. I just want to ask, how many cameras too were there when you guys shot the scene where the Haina man is jumping from Mandela Bridge? There's an incredible scene. It's a long shot. There's a lot. It's a lot of a point of. I mean, there's a ah, uh, uh, that's a that's a tricky one for me because I was more on set. <laughs> I was always getting ready for the next scene. Uh, I mean, there was a, there's a couple of cameras, but there's always like one or two main cameras. Uh, and then there's other little cameras just to get like little, the little details that are there. Um, but we, which was nice with this one, we worked with two cameras. There was two, two, uh, there's the DOP, who's an incredible DOP, Tom Murray. Uh, I love Tom Murray. I love working with him. He really loves actors. So nice to work with. Uh, most, most DOPs are always worried about, oh, I need to get my shot. Yeah. I didn't get my shot. But do you understand the story though? Mm -hmm. So Tom, about Tommy, I love him. He really understands the story and he really understands you as an actor as well. So he's always looking for the you know, the best of you and what you bring. You know, uh, I, I've, I've worked with him before. You know, I've worked with him. The number number, the first one. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's somebody that has studied me and I study how he, how he shoots, you know. And I love the chemistry that we... We have myself, Donovan, 
Presley now, Tom, Thomas, because we work so so close together. And I love Donovan is one of those directors. I remember the one time Tom was was having this shot. He's very excited about it, <laughs> and then Donovan looks at it, and then I know him when he tilts his head like this. Like, hmm. <laughs> it looks like something I've seen before. Try something else. That's the director that really wants you to really bring out the best of it, you and be truthful. Is it is it a kind of a, gore, a director, I mean, whereby if you have a point of view which you believe that you can deliver at mm. your extraordinary level, it does give you that freedom. Oh, that's what it's about. He's mm. a, it, you know, it's a collaborative art, mm. you know. So he's always, he's always like, I'm like, Don, I, but I know how to, I know doing Don, I'm like, Don, ah, oh, man, he's, I had this dream about this scene, man. <laughs> like, oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> what did you dream? I'm like, don't worry, I'll show you. Then you play. It's like, oh, okay, cool. And he'll give you that. Mm -hmm. And then he, he'll sort of like allow you. Because that's what it is. I, it, it, we collaborate. <laughs> We're all collaborators in this thing. Yeah. That's not just one man. Now, he has a vision. He's very meticulous. He knows what he wants. But he has a vision as well to put everybody. Because we're all, we're all a team. Mm -hmm. There's things. Well, there's, that's the thing about the director. Donovan, he's he doesn't understand Zulu process to us totally. He doesn't understand any of that. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's relying on us to bring that because it, uh, it takes a, a director with empathy as well to 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 work with that. Because he was like, I remember the first time when we shot the number number, the first one we worked with was like, guys, hey, I'm not white, hey. I mean, sorry, I'm not. He's like, I'm not black, hey. I'm white, so I'm relying on y'all. Mm -mm -mm. to write this and come up with this mm -hmm. as well so it's a collaborative art this thing you know and it takes empathy to to, to, to work with someone like shout that. out to number number just gold yeah and Denver and the whole production team yeah. for showing i'm a cause in jose mall <laughs> no having you to show that me, yeah having to show i was like like i'm very detailed whenever i'm watching something sure. i analyze everything that i yeah. see Having to show Amakos are like it's South African. That's we, what yeah, we have to we us. have Batu today. Yeah. We have Drip. It's going international. We have Rich Mnis. We have this so many mm. brand Tepo Jeans. Yeah, having to show Amakos, I was like, this is what we need in our ad. We yeah. need to sell our 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 work to the international world. It's a it's a business. Yeah, you know that's what it is. The more uh, the more now, the, I'm hoping the more people understand that these especially. Because there's a lot of young black businessmen that are doing very well for themselves, and they just waste money. And if only they could find a way to 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 work with the arts, it will make our work transcend even more. That we're not always trying to chase after uh, NVF and chase after. We have small businesses or big black businesses that are supporting the arts, and then they business. I also uplift because now they're part of something, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, that, that's the really trying to teach black people that is kind of sad. It's like it's like it's like teaching it's teaching black people to to, to invest in art. Yeah. Art is a new form of business yeah. as well. Yeah. You know? Um. Um. Whenever I watch Jack Chan's films, I realize that most of his funders are his people. Exactly. Mtsubi is mm. one of his funders. I'm looking. At, at a time whereby when I'm shooting a film, my yeah. fire will, mm -hmm. will fund my, my, my films. I won't be drinking some other international brand because we have, mm -hmm. we have Coca Cola of Mofire, we have Sprite of Mofire, we yeah. have all those things. I'm looking to a point where I'm, I'm, whenever I need designer clothes, I will be wearing rich knees in, in my films. I'm not yeah. saying we don't need to wear international. Absolutely. Brands, but Absolutely. I'm looking at that time whenever someone from the US a uh, big shout out to 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 kings of Joburg. Yeah. They know it in US. Absolutely. Imagine if someone pulls up wearing rich knees yeah. in the, in that song. And be proud. And be proud. Like yeah. right now, this this all this gear is from uh, South African. You know, well, African should I say? Yeah. Uh, Maria McCloy, and this is her stuff. You know, I'm always rocking young black people stuff a lot because they need to be pushed constantly. It's it's what it is, and of course. Mm -hmm. It's part of who I am. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? Now you drink that. Yeah. And you said with pride, more mm, fire. More fire. And then you open it, you're like, mm. tick. 
He's a big friend of the show, DJ Spoo. That's great. No, that. he's very, I love DJ Spoo, man. Mm-hmm. He's so, yeah. he's so supportive of, of young black men. And he's, always, I love that he always pushes that message constantly because we need to hear it. We don't hear it. I don't think we hear it enough. Mm. You know, we don't hear it enough to, to support each other. There's, there's a, there's someone yesterday who sent me a DM. I yeah. have met that person before. There's a founder of a, a perfume company called The Melanin House. <laughs> Is any of us ask you experience with the perfume? Oh man. Oh. Dude. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do her business. Now, nah, she's great. Um, I met her when, uh, I think we were watching, I love watching South African work. Uh, I met her when we were watching uh, Lady Speak, Lady Smith, Black Mambazo. Yeah. Uh, we're there together and we met, and she said she's got this fragrance. I'm like, what? Yeah, I got this fragrance. Da, 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 da. And then I, I, I had my friend there, U, Ulemo. Uh, those who know Ulemo, Ulemo is, is, uh, who plays Ushaka, Ulemo. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm smiling. What have you got on? What is that? It's like, oh man, this is just the beginning of the night. Yeah. And then I smell it again at yeah. the end. I'm like, what is that? And then he yeah. calls the girls like, that's her, that's her. And then she came and we were, we were all chilling there, having a couple of Jay-Z's there. And, 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 <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, I've got this perfume. You got that. At first, you know, people jive you sometimes. Mm. You know, they're like, ah, you got this. You know, because it's Joburg, you know, everybody's mm-hmm. hustling. So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I just leave you. I'll, 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 I'll entertain you as, yeah. as far as I can. Yeah. I'll be like, yeah, hit me up on my DMs. Fine. I'll give you my number. Son. I'll entertain you. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm always willing to, to, to give uh, somebody a chance before I decline them. Mm-hmm. You know, and oh yeah, she came through, man. That's, that thing is power, man. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was funny enough. I just, I came from a callback. Uh, it's called but got to kind of kind of physical. <laughs> it's like an emo- it's like a very like uh, sexy scene where I'm like holding this girl that that because mm-hmm. uh, I go I go in when I do even at a callback. <laughs> and then she's like, "What is that? What are you smelling?" Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I got uh, yeah, I got that melon. Yeah. yeah, shout out to her. I got that melon. <laughs> I hope I get the next job too. <laughs> um, uh, um, I, I have one from her. Uh, no. one also. Uh, and it's South African, African yes, you know what I mean? African. And it's black, and it smells great. Oh, it's, you it's know, the, I love, I love how we're pushing excellence now as mm-hmm. as black people from young people. You know, we're not we're not short doing the shortcut way. Yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't do us any good. Mm-hmm. You know, and then because now we go, ah, so it's ah, I must pop my foot, hey, dark. Yeah. You know, I, but I was, coming in strong. I was disappointed when I I was, I was watching Number Number. Just gold. Which one part? Uh, Which part were you disappointed on? I was disappointed in the whole film because Why? your character, yeah. your character this time, like, 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 yeah. like you as Stu Mumchan yes. in most of the films that you work, uh-huh. there's so many loves, you know, so <laughs> there's so much kissing. Oh my gosh. But then this, this one, this guy, this one. <laughs> Dude, nah, I can't always be kissing this one. <laughs> girls all the time in these shows. No, this one, I mean, we played around with it. Uh, we played around with the idea of him having a, a, a romance. Uh, but we thought to ourselves, let's not run away. And it, it's a choice. It's, 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 it's a, it's a, what you call it? It's a, it's a story choice. It's a, it's a creative choice. Um, but I'm glad we, uh, watching it, um, be, what's beautiful is that the chemistry between the two of them is so, it's, it's, it's actually stronger anywhere without any physicality. We don't always have to go there. Mm. You know what I mean? I always tell, like, I was remember, uh, somebody was asking me, oh, would you do, would you, in this film, would you do a nude scene or would you do a sex scene? Not when it is, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't need it. Sometimes be more creative. Mm. Be creative with the scene. You know, we don't always have to go all that way. Yeah. You know? And I mean that when I say this, all that way. <laughs> so to make the thing more powerful. It's already great. Be creative, you know? Yeah. yeah. There's um, there's something I love about you, man. You're good at you. Thank thing. you, brother. You know, when I was watching Shadow. Shit, ah, Shadow. 
Ah man, with the incredible, with the incredible uh, Palestine. Palestine, man. Oh, you oh, there, my brother. There. Oh man. man, whenever like you, you do something like you nail it. You, you remind me of of Desert Washington. For real? Yeah, yeah. Like whenever he he's does the god, his, though. Oh, that's when, that's that's big D. Yeah, when yeah. when yeah. he does his performances, he makes sure that he sells you of him in the mm. next film to say. I want to work with this guy. No. That's what you do whenever your performances are so extraordinary. I was like, nah, mm. I admire to work with him. Oh, ah, salute, world. man. Thank you. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, uh, I, I watch his work a lot because I'm, because that's what I is one of those artists, not even an actor, but artist, storyteller that always has something to say. There's always something that he wants to, to, de- to specifically, and he, and he's so clear now. Mm. As the years go by, because that's that's also I work towards that. I work to become more of a clear storyteller. You have to be so clear. Mm. The message has to be clear constantly. If it's not clear, then it's then it's like oh, I'm teams, I'm done. Mm. So my aim as as a, as an artist constantly is to be clear, be a clear. I remember good uh, when I met. I don't know if you know how how much do you know about jazz. Ah, jazz, jazz. I'm jazz. into South African Aaron, jazz. I'm into R and B and hip hop. Oh man, okay. <laughs> this guy, I need to school you. I'm into, <laughs> and I'm so, a piano. I'm into of course, of course, my piano, of course. But j- that's and where it comes from. from. Jazz, yeah. all of this comes from jazz. So there's a South African, uh, um, there's a South African jazz a musician. His name is Pete Antoine. Oh. And you know, I met him. I met him years back. At Gra- at, not Graham Sound, but now it's called. Uh, Makufo Festival. I think it's in it's in Bloemfontein. Uh, I met him there, and I was a fan of him already. But I was a fan of him because of my father. Mm. And I asked him for an advice. I was like, uh, "What is it that that makes you the musician that you are now today? That that I admire and love the sound and I love the message." that you portray in your music. And my father loves you. He loves your work. It was just, he just said the most simplest thing ever. He was like, just be sensitive to the ear. Mm. I was like, okay. Just be sensitive to, so that what he's saying really is just have empathy. Yeah. Understand your audience. Understand what they want. And be sensitive to them. You don't always have to come so hard at them. You don't have to preach or make scenes too too graphic or glued. Basically, have an understanding of your message. Be clear. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Be clear. That's what what that's what beautiful jazz is. Beautiful jazz music is very clear. You hear every single note. Big oh. shout out to Jews. You know, gold number brother, number. Thank you. Uh, for you know, you know me. I I I love when our people are being appreciated. Yes. When what the country does mm. to the world is being appreciated. Big shout out to Joe's Gold because of the scene mm-hmm. of Amapian. <laughs> Your character in the club, yeah. and when shoes was in the van. I see. You see, this white people connect mm. vibe with him. I'm a piano now in the US is the big thing yes. in the UK. We must Chris be proud Brown of ourselves. Is, is doing so. You guys having to bring that up was yeah. so powerful, and I saw that. And what's beautiful is that who who, who has who's handling the, the 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 music this time? Actually, again, what am I saying? This time, actually, again, is actually Israel. Mm. So Israel, this time on this on this number, he's the assistant producer. So he really, he was really behind the scenes. He was there every day. He was really behind the scenes because he couldn't be part of it on this one. You know, those who know Israel, he played on the first one. He played Scroof. Mm. Uh, so he this time, this one, he's so behind. He's so involved with it behind the scene because it sometimes he calls the cut. Mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> cut. Like I'm on the club. You know, so because <laughs> he constantly wants the scene to be good uh and he really challenged the other actors to really come on board and understand what we're trying to do here this is not 
Il y a ces cas, c'est le film, et il appartient aux gens. Donc, vous devez être partie de ça. Vous n'êtes pas venu ici pour être whatever you have done in your past and your other films here you part of this film you part of inamba namba le ngakhlalwa la mkhongqo lo you know i mean you part of that world now you we're not catering for you 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 catering for inamba namba yeah so israel really understand that it's very and he understand what i love about him when we chat he understands that as artists we're very accountable you have to be very accountable for what you do constantly 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 and he is he represents for all sorts of demographics you know he from prison there's people in prison who are watching us they watch like okay all right now they did it right and there's, then there's people from Ekas who are also watching and there's the people about Dal who are also watching I, i talking about that i love the fact that your character at the end had to pay for his yes. actions yes to say in everything that you do there's a you, you need you, you need to pay, pay for you yeah, absolutely for, absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. because we really really had to think about the ending for this one because the last ending for the first one it left a lot of people um it's either you it was it was it was either this or that it's either you like the ending of the first one or you didn't there was no in between and i always love that because a lot of people the people who didn't like the ending had a reason it wasn't like oh, i didn't like the ending it was like i didn't like the ending because you gave the money back yeah you know what i mean so there's a people who are really invested in the story and there's people who like the ending because it's like okay he's giving the money back because he's trying to he's trying to improve his he understood the shit that he did but he wants to move forward and he wants to give because cops are such in a bad light at the moment yeah so we couldn't give the message of cop constantly the message of uh, being a cop because it's not easy being a cop it's, it's not, not easy being a policeman yeah. so we didn't we didn't want to leave the message of they all they all bad yeah yeah you know so he had to pay in this one so we had to like hey, does he pay does he not but you saw the end mm. so don't tell them no, no, i want he don't just paid them. for his acting. yeah leave it at that yeah 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 <laughs> are, are you still doing the, the 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 acting classes i do i still do the acting classes uh but now i'm focusing more now in self build i go to a place called uh in case and then kwazulu a place called isanwan so it's a very like rural area and i teach the 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 i go to different schools and i teach the kids in those schools um by using the forms of art to teach them to to love themselves and to teach them to to love the idea of 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 being in school and education but more importantly to teach them how to stand up and start to speak in front of people as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm teach- we were doing a lot of those programs within the school group. So we do- we we're using the tools from drama, we're using tools from text, them writing their own poetry, um and then them performing it in front of their peers. So we're doing a lot of that. And myself, Palence Gaja, my brother, uh, Amanda that. Lane, mm-hmm. Amanda Lane, she's just I call her my creative heart. She's the she's the woman who who really who who believed in me uh really really believed in me she's the woman who created uh Tempe Pushers mm. she created is Tunzi mm-hmm. uh so we working together as a, as as a team and helping these kids because we want to give back and it's not about giving i actually they actually giving back to us more than ever once you, when you when you start no besides appreciate once you start to see them understand what the program is and you see them now being able to talk in front cuz and my kai they don't they are my fan being on to say you know mm-hmm. what i mean uh, down you know they they back up and uh, at first it was amazing cuz we been we started this program uh march now we here in June. the last time we went to them beginning of june they could never all of them those kids could never look at me in the eyes because it's it's the whole thing in makaya go to um dog dad wa bomo me you know what i mean but once you now yes i'm not saying leave that but now once you get to the workplace melumbu mm-hmm. umuntu emehlweni so at that's 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 a trained thing that's in your blood that's in your, so we're trying to t- take that out of them we're not saying 
But now when you're in the workplace, so your interview, so your kumalabam, you need to look people in the eyes. Like you, you have to understand those kids could never look at me in the eyes. Mm. Now they're looking at me. Mm. And I'm like, I see you. What, what now I can say Sauborn. Mm. What yeah. can we expect from Stumumjal? Maybe in the next ten years, what do you want to see yourself? You know, in terms of career wise, in yeah. terms of NGOs or whatever that you want to achieve. Uh, definitely growing the school thing, teaching thing that it, 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 it impacts everybody, and I get more people involved in it. Um, and then, of course, uh, ten years time. Uh, hopefully, uh, by then I'll be going to in, in number number ten. It'll be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean, that. uh, uh, that's that's and then uh, and then of course more more getting in more behind the scenes because I've started that now. Uh, you know, being production producing, uh, uh, also directing. You know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, I heard that you direct theater production. I d- I've directed theater production way back in the days, but I want to get more into into screen directing as well. Because I know how I know how to I know how to get the best out of another actor, uh, because I always say that it's never about me; it's always about the other actor constantly. Mm-hmm. How do I get that actor to, to to give off the scene? People are like, oh no, it's my shot. No, it's not your shot. Shut mm-hmm. the fuck up! It's not your shot. It's about how do I get the best out of them? How do they find their own god? So we bring because it's a collaborative thing. Mm-hmm. I always teach that that that's a very high caller. You know, mm-hmm. teach that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, thanks for coming. I love you so much, man. Ah, I love you love, too, man. I love, I, love, <laughs> I, love, I love, I love, I love your acting. Thank you. Acting. You. I hope my human, my humanness is 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 more yeah. than my acting. Um, I That's what I, I hope. hope. So. I'm, I'm, I hope so. <laughs> well, I'm not my work as yeah. well. You know. Yeah, I, I I love I love your 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 art. I love your art. I'm a big fan. Thank you. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Mm. You know, right now, whenever I'm watching, I I I I'm, I usually watch the stuff that I watched as a kid because mm. now I watch with two eyes and two understanding Absolutely. as an audience and as a filmmaker. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so for me, like everything is very detailed. Whenever I watch a thing, I was like, man, this is not. Easy to deliver this at this level, no, no. and now uh, so you doing your thing, mm. and 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 in the last twelve months, man, you're up here and you're, you're doing your thing up in the <laughs> game, blood sounds, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, man, so many things. You are in demand now. Am I? I don't know. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still yeah. auditioning, yeah. so I'm not in demand yet, because <laughs> I'm still auditioning. But you know, it's a process, and. Um, and it doesn't stop, man. I mean, I'm 40 now, and um, I feel like now I'm starting again. Mm. I feel like when I was coming into class now, that's, yeah. that's how I feel now. But with a more mature eye, the more mature spirit. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for slotting me in in your busy schedule. You know, you could have sat with the newsroom. Yeah, Metro FM. Could I? I miss newsroom for you. Oh, I'm joking. Th- th- I miss th- newsroom though. Th- I miss th- newsroom. Th- thanks, thanks for that. Yeah. I don't take it lightly. Yeah. We're just a bunch of students, no. but you decided to take your most valuable, precious time to come and chat with us. No, that thank you, said, thank you for fine. hounding me. On that, this man has been hounding me <laughs> every yeah. week. Like I, I am, but that's what it's about, yeah. you know. So. I I also had to see if you are serious or not. Uh, I, I am, and you just, were very serious. Just just yeah. me having a couple of challenges. I want to look at this camera. <laughs> is and it working? Yeah, it's, it's working, man. Right? <laughs> yeah, really trust long. them. Yeah, 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 it is working. Trust them. They've yeah. been. I've I've been seeing them. They've been running around. They yeah, they yeah. they're making sure that, uh, you know, and the boom man is. Okay, guys. I've just watched number number just gold wow. released this year. It's number two on Netflix for the whole week. Has been on top ten. No, not not even the whole week. It's, it, it, I came out on Friday. Yeah. So it's Monday. It's been three days, it's been three days man. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. But for the last couple of days, has been on top ten. Number yeah. two, man, doing it most. 
it has challenged me. It, it has made me cry. So many comedy in it. But guys, importantly, it questions the things that we, we, we are the victims of because of the lack of leadership and corruption of this kind. So make sure that you stream that number number on Netflix. Ah, you heard it from the man. You heard it. You heard it from the man. You heard it from the man. Now nah, we good. Okay. What's the name of the show? Number number. No, no name of this show. show. Oh, Marcel Simon show. Marcel. Marcelo. Marcelo. Yes. Marcelo. Simon show. Marcelo Simon show. Thank you. I'm on Marcelo Simon show. Thank you so much, Marcelo. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm I'm so grateful to to, to be part of this. So. I'll, Guys, you heard from the man. Check out the number number coming out. Well, it's coming out now. So it's on, it's streaming as we speak. You know, fine enough. I've been having to say that in the past. Coming out, coming out. <laughs> now I have to say it's streaming. Yeah. It's streaming on Netflix. Uh, it's going to be there. It belongs to you. Uh, it belongs to the hood. It's so South African. It's, it's, it's everything that, that, that I put, I put my heart, sweat and tears for this one. Uh, it belongs to you, black child. Uh, this is your one to, to say to you that you can uh, work your ass off though it's not easy uh, and I don't mean that lightly <laughs> this this process of acting will challenge you spiritually emotionally uh, physically um, so uh, this is you, you gotta work your ass off in life no one's gonna hand it to you you know so this is for you uh, go check that movie out it's yours yeah, man. Thanks, thanks for coming. No, thank you. Thanks, thanks thank for you, coming. Thank you, thank you.